if you don't mind, I'm going to say a few th good things about you. Good. Okay. <laughs> Speak deep. <laughs> well, you know, there's so much here, <laughs> so many good things about you. I'm just going to have to be a little selective, if you don't mind. Uh, Brian was born in, in Bigger Saskatchewan. Um, he graduated from high school here in, here in Oliver. And in 1961, he graduated from college with a pastor's diploma. Then he enrolled in the Royal Canadian Air Force and retired in 1992. Did you ever serve at Portage, La Prairie? Didn't serve there, but I've been there a long time. Yeah, because I was uh, the, air, the recreation officer on that base for oh, a couple of years. Good. Be reco. Yeah. Well, we can talk about that later. Won't. <laughs> um, in 1977, he served with the Canadian High Commission at London, England, and was responsible for coordinating the, trans coordinating the transport needs of the Vice Chief of Defence on his United Kingdom tour. In 1987, he was assigned the responsibility for VIP handling for the departure and arrival of Her Royal Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. So that's quite a, it's quite fitting that you were uh, to get her medal today. Um, in 1987, he was uh, tasked to provide VIP handling and coordination of aircraft support for the Duke and Duchess of York. Uh, in nine, from the 22nd to the 23rd of May in 1988, he was directly responsible for VIP handling of Prime Minister Mulroney and staff on their arrival and departure to and from Heathrow Airport. I was actually with Prime Minister Mulroney in Russia in 1989 when I went uh, with him, so that's interesting. Uh, he was the official DND school trustee for the Canadian Forces Base Edmonton, uh, coordinated the closure of base schools, uh, working with the Alberta Teachers Union to settle a long-standing pay contract dispute ensuring that more senior DND teachers receive the right to be grandfathered in with the schools they moved. He delivered Meals on Wheels for four years in the Soyuz community, volunteered to coach a community softball team, and for the past 12 years has played and coached the Soyuz Legion team. He served the province of BC as transportation director for the 1995 BC Senior Games and was selected to sit as member of the Okanagan Regional District Environmental Waste Disposal Committee. He volunteered his time to install signs on the town of Asoyas, BC Daycare Center, and also undertook maintenance of the center, improving the safety of the children. He currently holds the Okanagan Similkameen Legion Zone Poppy and Youth Portfolio and is treasurer of Legion Branch 173 in Asoyas. <laughs> well, give me a Honor, a great honor to present this to you. Oh, I really appreciate that. Go, I think we'll move this thing. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. we'll try Thank that again. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay, so come on up here. Solana Allison. This is a real pleasure. We worked together on many projects, and often when we do panels and we need professional or community advice on issues such as food security and the environment, Sol is always there. So I just thought I'd throw that in before I read the official thing on you. Um, Seoul is very active in the community of Princeton, working on environmental and social justice issues. She is president of the Save Our Similkameen Society. She helped and was very instrumental, I may add, might add, to stop a coal-burning power plant that would have damaged the Valley's air quality. She helped stop coal bed methane production that would have damaged the Valley's water. She has worked, it says here with me, uh, to bring speakers to Princeton to talk about sustainable agriculture. At present, she is working hard to keep the emergency department open 24-7. Uh, Seoul is very instrumental, I should add, in this whole drive to keep that hospital going and keep that emergency department open. She has done all these things for the good of the community without taking any credit. 
She's self-employed and takes time off from work to help the community without pay or recognition. So, that, those are just some of the things that uh, we've got here on you, Soul. So it's, once again, it's a pleasure, certainly, to be here with you and to present you with this medal, but I'm gonna move the mic before I shake your hand. <laughs> there. So congratulations. papers. It reminds me one day I was supposed to give this speech in Parliament so I got all these papers and I, I dropped them and the camera was on me. There were paper went flying all over the place and, and I wound up finally giving the speech without any papers because I couldn't stoop down to get them. So uh, anyways. So the ne next one is uh, it's a bit different. It's uh, a medal for uh, Charles Finch and I'd like to invite his wife of the Charles is no longer with us. This is a posthumous medal. And um, I'd like to invite his wife, Hildred, to come up here, please. So there are, are so many, so many things that we could say about your late husband, Hildred, um, from, from Karameas. Uh, it's interesting, at the time when Princess Elizabeth was serving as an ambulance driver in the Second World War, Charles Finch was flying a Lancaster, a pilot with the RCAF, attached to the RAF Bomber Command until his dis discharge as a commission officer. He maintained the respect he held for this working princess over all the years of her reign as queen. So it's certainly fitting that he sh this medal should be awarded to him. He is a 50-year member of the branch 192 in Karameas, the Legion branch. Uh, 1995 was awarded a life membership in the Royal Canadian Legion. Had been an active member serving as president of the branch in 1978 and 1979. Uh, be also between 1984 and 1988. Acted as service officer and chaplain. Conducted over 30 services for and behalf of veterans. For many years, he was instrumental in organizing Armistice Day services. He was also the Legion bus driver for various activities, in particular transporting a bus full of brownies from school to meetings in the Legion Hall. He also served the youth of the community as C CO uh, and an adjunct for the 582 Squadron of the Air Cadets when they were active in Karameas. He was a member of the Karameas School Board, served as chairman from 1962 to 1977, member of the Okanagan College Council for 10 years. Uh, he was also president of the BC Association of Colleges from 1969 to 72, and in 1996 was awarded an honorary life membership in the Advanced Education Council of British Columbia in recognition of an extraordinary contribution to the post-secondary education system in the province. As an orchardist and sheep farmer, Charles Finch attempted to improve the lot of the farmer by serving as an executive member of the BC Fruit Growers Association and a director of the BC Federation of Agriculture. He was president of the BC Sheep Breeders Cooperative Association from 1976 to 1986. He was also chairman of the BC Sheep and Wool Commission from 1976 to 1981. Secretary of the Coston Board of Trade in the early years, President of the Coston Centennial Committee, organist for six years at, for the Elks, and uh, assisted with the reestablishment of the Okanagan Historical Society. These are just some of the things that um, your, your husband was involved in. So One would think he was he ever home? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's certain it's a, an honor for me, Mrs. Finch, to to.
present this, this medal. Thank you. you. And I know he would be very honored to receive it. is Burl Wallace. Getting ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, Burl has been an active member of the Headley community for many years. However, has been very involved for the past few years when she assumed the presidency of the local seniors organization. Burrow has been instrumental in uh, increasing the profile of the OAPO and improving its services to the community members. When a plan has been put forth to improve the facilities of the organization's contributions to the community, she sees it through. Under her direction, the Headley Library, which is housed in the seniors building, has moved into a newer section of the facility, offering roomier and a much more pleasant surrounding. She has encouraged and facilitated the increased use of the hall for community activities, such as exercise classes several times a week and weekly crafts sections. These provide opportunities for the improved social and physical health of residents. When hosting events such as community dinners, Mrs. Wallace ensures that hot meals will be delivered to homebound residents. This past year has seen many improvements being made to seniors buildings under her supervision providing an enjoyable meeting place for community members. She also is supportive of other Headley groups, such as the local museum, community club, and church. And as a member of the local church, she has helped assist in ev 